the stars in the back of my car huh. Trying to figure out just who we are Catching moments on our phones Taking pictures, call it home Picking words out of our favorite songs Our favorite songs We can stay up all night Yeah, we'll show them we were right The city is ours for life Will you take my hand tonight? We can stay up all night Yeah, we'll show them we were right Will you take my hand tonight? Will you take my hand tonight? Hey guys, today is Thursday, October 18th and this video I'm gonna start it off a little different with a question that Jennifer asked me, JRG something, I'll put it down but it's like right here. And she asked me if I have ever gotten drunk. Te has puesto peda? Um, I thought I had it, but looking back at it, I've been watching the blackout drunk videos, and I have caught it like that. So. Yeah. Okay, so for today's video, we're gonna do kind of a chit chat wheelchair related video. Um, this is the what not to ask someone in a wheelchair, or what not to say to someone in a wheelchair. Um, either or. Um, this, these are the questions that make me feel awkward. I'm talking for myself and not for everyone in a wheelchair. Also, I'm not trying to be rude in any way, shape, or form. So, okay. The first, I'm sorry, I have them written down so I won't forget. They're on leg suits, so... But that's all I could think about right now. There's usually like so many things that make me feel awkward. But come on. We go to class on the first day of school. And I used to get a portable class. And to my surprise, there was no ramp. So I used to be like, knock, knock, knock. Um, I can't get in. This is my class and there's no rap. And that used to be like, sorry, sweetie, we don't have a rap. But I'm sure one of these strong classmates, one of your strong classmates could carry you inside. And I was like, no, no. No, that's against the rules and it's awkward, like, they're not supposed to do that because if there's a fire hazard or whatever, you have to be able to get out quick and like, well anyway, that was very uncomfortable for me so I would always say no and just go get another class at the counselor so High school was a struggle for me. Next one. Oh my god. This is so embarrassing. When I'm out in public or something and they're like, Thank you so much for being here. You're such an inspiration. Do people expect me to stay home all the time? Just because I'm in a wheelchair? So basically anything I do is an inspiration to people. 
so embarrassing because I didn't do nothing. I'm literally out of my house. How is that an inspiration? But oh, <laughs> can you feel your legs? And they touch me like. Yes, I can feel your dirty hands on my legs. Okay. <laughs> like, oh, I hate that question so much. Can you feel your legs? Can you feel your legs? Yes, I can feel my legs. I'm not paralyzed or numb from the waist down. Literally, if you stab me, yes, I can feel it. It's like if you break your hand and someone shank you Would you be able to feel it? Yes, yes you would So So, uh, um, next one When they're like, oh, you have a boyfriend? What is wrong with him? That's quite offensive, like, just cause I'm in a wheelchair doesn't mean my boyfriend has, is mentally unstable. Nothing's wrong with him. Or when they're like, is your boyfriend in a wheelchair too? That's kind of, not racist, but like, uh, I can't think of the word right now. But, it's like saying, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be racist. Um, it's like saying, all Indians hang out with only Indian people. Or, only white people talk to white people, only Mexicans, etc, etc. Like, no, my boyfriend's not in a wheelchair. All my friends are not in a wheelchair. I don't even have any. <laughs> but no, no. Nothing is wrong with my boyfriend. He's perfectly fine. He works. He takes me out on dates. He carries me all around. Well, not all around, because that makes me uncomfortable. But yeah, he's perfectly fine. He's not in a wheelchair, he's not mentally stable, instable, whatever, he's okay, don't worry, no, I'm not saying wheelchair people are like, not my crew to hang out with, not my cup of tea, there you go, but, no, I don't have any, like, I don't know anyone in a wheelchair besides me. I mean, I would like to, so we could have the same experiences. But, um, no, as of right now, I don't have anyone other than on social media. Like, when I do my makeup or something, they're like, do you get ready by yourself? I was the person who used to do my makeup for school, and people would always come up to me and be like, did you do your makeup by yourself? And I was like, bro, bro, no, my mom got up at 8 a.m. to do my eyeliner. Like, no. I get ready by myself. Sometimes, if I'm feeling lazy, I tell my sister to do my hair. But otherwise, I do it all by myself. I don't have money to pay a personal stylist or whatever. So, yes, I do it by myself. When people, like... I'm not saying it's rude to ask me if I know you, like, if, we, if we've if we talked more than a couple of times, it's fine, but like, 
If I'm in the mall or at the park or whatever, people stare at me, right? And I'm like, okay, it's fine. You're here, do your own thing, whatever. But when people come up to me and they're like, were you in an accident? Like, <sighs> no, no. I was born with it, um, and like, I have to explain everything, like, no, I wasn't in an accident, don't you know, it's rude to ask, but, to each their own. But yeah, those are a couple of things that make me feel awkward, um, so, if they make me feel awkward and I'm so open-minded, imagine how it feels to other people in a wheelchair. So, heads up, don't ask those things unless you know them. Yeah, see you next time. Bye! I need you right away! Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh,